Hello, Taurus. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I definitely appreciate all the love and support, and I send it right back to you guys. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment. This reading resonates. With that being said, let's go ahead and see what messages are coming through for you guys at this time. Spirit of love and light, truth and clarity, what messages do you have for a sign of Taurus? Please and thank you. Messages for a sign of Taurus. Okay, three of swords and the hangman. You sac you sacrificed enough in a particular situation that has caused you nothing but pain and heartache. That's where you guys are at. What's the challenge in this particular situation? Some of y'all, your challenge is leaving the particular situation, doing what's best for you because you guys are constantly like putting some, I'm really getting this energy of, um, Placing someone else's needs before your own. This can be romantic, family, friends. But y'all have a tendency to put others before yourself. And it's a particular situation where you're saying, I'll sacrifice so much of myself for someone else. And this person has done several things to betray me. But your challenge is, it's hard for you to, it's like... You're not doing what's best for yourself because you're thinking of someone else over yourself. And it doesn't have to be romantic. It can be family, friends. Like y'all tend to be like the sacrificial lamb here. Like you guys will sacrifice so much of yourself for other people, but you're not getting the same in return. What is the root of this situation? Mm -mm, mm -mm. Is that... Let me mix this up again. What's the root of this situation? The magician. And the fool. Okay, so y'all have been deceived. Y'all have. Someone pretending like they had good intentions uh, towards you time and time again, only to mislead you or to deceive you towards doing something. Like you guys have been led astray by someone. It seems like on multiple occasions. It's like they're looking at you like you possess all the tools. Like you... This is someone who is, I'm getting some jealousy out of this person as well. Because they look at you and they feel like you have the uh, powers, the tools to manifest anything that you desire or at least a better life. So it, it's almost like, uh, I don't know, it's, it's crazy because it seems like this has almost been like a repetitive, en repetitive energy here um, for some of the signs. Because I'm really getting someone being jealous of your abilities. Some of y'all even your looks too. It's like someone feels like they can talk you into doing anything. But you trust that this person has good intentions towards you. But I'm... Getting that with the fool and the magician, this person is definitely taking your kindness for weakness here. Knight of Swords in the uh, recent past here. What about this Knight of Swords in the recent past? There could have been some sort of opportunity that came in for you guys. Some of y'all, it's like something was evident in the recent past. There could have been an opportunity that came in for y'all and someone sabotaged it, but it was like you you saw like the evidence. Like y'all could have been looking at someone and questioning um, something that they did. It's like, well, clearly you did it because like you guys see this person, 
It's like, okay, in this car, okay, someone comes up missing. Like, did you, why you got that shovel with all that dirt on it and it's dirt, uh, dirt all on the carpet and stuff? So the evidence is there that someone did something. Someone covered up something here in the recent past. So y'all have the evidence and the, it's like y'all didn't get the clear answer, but you guys had enough evidence to say it, it had to be you. Like you had to have done this. What is this Knight of Swords about in the recent past? Seven of Cups and Seven of Swords. I'm really getting someone, um, well, I'm getting like some of y'all, this person like birthright here, but I'm getting, uh, some of y'all like this person, they seize your moment to take advantage of a particular opportunity. And with the seven of wands here, like this seven of wands lets me know that someone is getting caught. Their time is up. I'm really getting someone took advantage of an opportunity that was meant for you. And the cherry. So you guys have the six of pentacles the Ace of Wands and the Chariot in reverse. There's some sort of inspired action here. In the near future, there is going to come a moment where you guys are going to be inspired to take action towards something to give towards a particular situation they're advising you not to allow someone to dictate a particular situation because someone may try to steer you in the wrong direction when you clearly know what you need to do so they're giving you advice in advance not to allow someone to do this some of y'all may be guided to invest in a particular situation i'm gonna tell you guys what if you guys know that someone has led you astray in the past don't take advice from this person in the future whether someone is trying to convince you to invest in something or they're trying to tell you not to invest in something. Like you're being guided to take action towards something. They're telling you not to. There's someone that you don't need to take advice from. However, which way it goes. Because this person is leading you astray. You're letting go of the will of fortune. You're tired of uh, someone blocking your blessings here. Yeah, you guys are ready to start prioritizing things. Some of y'all are ready for love as well. You have the King of Pentacles showing up. But I'm also seeing with this King of Pentacles here, someone is reaching um, some sort of level of success in their life that they've always like desired to achieve. Someone is seeing you as making a decision. And that decision is a five of pentacles in reverse. So you're making a decision to turn things around in your life. You're doing something to turn things around in your life. And some of y'all may need to cut people out of your life or just be around the right people. Investing in the right things. But you guys are making some decisions here. Like you're having to make some tough calls here in order to turn things around in your life. Because you're tired of, you have the will of fortune in reverse as of what you are releasing. So tired of your blessings being blocked. 
and you're also tired of struggling financially, some of you guys, you're seeing yourself as having to keep your eye on a particular person. Because you guys are rebel rebelling from a particular situation here. Like you've been known to do things a particular way. But y'all are saying that you're no longer going to do something. Because it, it's like, why am I constantly doing something for someone else here? Some people here who are betraying me. They're not doing anything to help me get ahead in life. So why am I going through all of this why am i allowing some people to put me through all of this because it's something that you've been committed to that you're saying it's enough it's like you you're all some of y'all are also like watching someone or trying to catch someone in the act i'm not necessarily getting cheating but some of y'all said maybe that some of y'all are maybe trying to prove a point here like you want to know for sure like you want to catch someone like doing you want to make sure that you're not being crazy in a particular situation like am i crazy or has this person been intentionally doing things i'm, I'm getting like more of a passive aggressive type of energy from someone here let's see what is your advice for taurus what is your advice for taurus The devil in reverse and three of cups in reverse. So you guys have been guided to separate yourself from some people here. And they're advising you to do so. Um, the three of cups in reverse is be mindful of the company that you keep. More than likely, this is like friends. But it doesn't have to be friends. It could be family as well. It's just people who they don't celebrate your successes. Um, if they're not successful, then they don't want to see you successful. Um, like you can only do well in life if they are doing well in life and you can't do better than them. They're saying it's time to release this toxic energy because it's been holding you back. Like anyone that you feel like that they associate or you can say like they match that type of energy, you need to separate yourself from it that group of people Rest and rejuvenate in order to restore your stability. Some of y'all are needing to definitely separate yourself from some people in order to recharge your energy here. Uh, you guys clearly know what you need to do in order to have this new beginning in your life. I'm definitely saying that you guys will come out uh, successful like you will come out on top in a particular situation. Um, I'm seeing some of y'all are needing to speak your truth as well. When it comes to a particular situation, light. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You have shadow and light here. So I'm seeing like you guys seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Some of y'all are going through some shadow work at this uh, current time. Like you're not sure what's going on. You feel like your energy is off, but you're like, you're being guided to face your shadow side. But things will be lightening up. The energies may feel intense at this current moment, but the energies will be lightening up. But you're needing to embrace this moment, not to run from it because it's going to strengthen you and it's going to elevate you as well and put you in a better place in life. So embrace it and make the most out of the situation. Do what you're being guided to do in order to come out on top, to come out victorious in a particular situation. So... I'm going to leave it there. These are the messages that came through for you guys at this time. 
please be sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment this reading resonates with that being said you all take care